If you've been listening to Oh, It's On with Juan and Sean, you know this podcast is all over the place on topics. However, after episode number 37, we're going to narrow it down and focus on current events. So if you'd like, you can listen to our old podcasts. Maybe we'll set up a Patreon or something where you can request that we talk about certain things aside from current events. Maybe we'll fulfill them. Who knows? But from episode 37 and on, it'll be a current events focused podcast. So enjoy these final episodes before we get focused in on current events. And until then, remember, the microphone might be on. Some things should be said. Or shouldn't. Oh, it's on. With Juan. And Sean. 19 years. Yeah. Juan, how long have you lived in Vegas? Damn, I've been here 2004. Dang, 16 years. I've been here since 2012, and that's eight years. And I'm Sean, and this is... Juan. And our special guest... Ryle. And I messed up. That's the first time we haven't done a real proper entrance. But I was thinking about food, and I'm a fat guy, so leave, give me a break. <laughs> so the, before I moved to Vegas, I remember when I was young, my dad was like, Vegas is awesome. Vegas is awesome. And I was like, why does my dad think Vegas is awesome? You For a dollar, you can eat all you want. True. And I was like, oh, really? So the first chance I got, I came to Vegas. And it, was, it wasn't too bad priced yet. Yeah. But in the last like 12 years, the prices of the food has gone up quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Especially in the casinos. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I mean. In yeah, the casinos. for sure, for sure. But they, I guess the casinos were finding that younger people weren't gambling as much, but they were willing to pay more for better food. So that's mm-hmm. why we have buffets that are like $70 right now. Yeah, Bacchanal. Bacchanal. Wicked Spoon at the Cosmo. Yeah. That's like $56. The buffet at the Wynn is pretty good. Ooh, it's are they like still open? The yeah. wind is open. The buffet. The buffet? Yeah. How's that working? You just sit at your table and the waiter comes and you just tell the waiter what you want and they bring it to you. So uh, do they hand you like a menu of what they have? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Because, I mean, if, if, if I go there and I just sit down, I'm like, well, what do you have? That's the first thing I'm going to say. Yeah. Especially in a buffet. Maybe like at Denny's. Maybe because if you go to Denny's. They have a QR code at the table. You scan it with your phone camera. Yeah. And it pulls at up the their sushi menu. place I just ate at uh, t- this morning. Uh, there was a sushi code too. So then I got to download a QR code on my phone. No, you just basically. You just turn on your camera and you put it over it and then it just downloads the menu. Yeah. How and come it hasn't been working for me every time I'm trying to do it. I just, I never even knew that's how it worked until. Because I have like a QR scanner. I click no. on it. It's like a camera. I just turned on my camera. And then I put it on it and then it's just like. Okay, what you is got, it? Do you gotta about? click. You gotta click on it, and it focuses in, and it like scans it, and then it'll pop up with like a website, and be like, "Go to this website," and then the website will take you to the menu. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't even have to do that in Denny's. I just turned on my phone camera and just put it over the QR code, and it just downloaded the menu. And I was like, "This is so handy. Why doesn't everybody do this anyway?" I mean, it's. I think they're gonna start doing it. I think they're gonna start doing it. Now. They should. They yeah, should have been uh, doing Distills it forever. Distills does it, and who else does it? Distills. Yeah, dude, I had some ribs last night there. Fuck, they're a bomb. OTT. I don't know what OTT stands for. Oh. Oh, mm. thanks for the invite. Oh, that's what it stands for? <laughs> T-I-T-I. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so Vegas is kind of a food capita, if you didn't know. It Vegas is. has the highest amount of pizza places per capita in oh, the wow, world. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. As of, well, two years ago they did. I don't know if things have changed. Possibly, I would expect but, New York would have that. Oh yeah, time. New York. Oh, I love that New York style of pizza. What's your favorite pizza place here, Brile? Uh, I like Marco's Pizza. Marco's. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good, what? dude. I actually right. like yeah. that. That's a chain restaurant. Yeah. You know I mean, what's, okay. I love Marco's. Let's go go ahead, Brile. Yeah, Marco's Pizza is good as a chain restaurant. It's better than like the other two, like Pizza Hut or at least to me. I don't know what other pizza spot like Secret Pizza. Like secret. Where's that? That's at uh, Cosmo. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you're not talking about I know. It's a okay, joke. yeah, I know which one you're talking about. That's the one with the where where BHB used to take us. BH, off. Yeah, because yeah. he's like, oh my god, it's like the best pizza. Yeah, ever. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I like that as a as down a, as the hallway. Um, I'm trying to think of other places to eat pizza. No, but Marco's because uh, I didn't know it was a chain restaurant because there's like one by where I live. Yeah. They're like on uh, Durango Warm and Warm Springs. So I went there. I bought the fucking pizza. I was like, holy shit, dude! It's like because I got like a 
simple pepperoni pizza. Yeah, they it was good. Loaded the fuck pepperoni. I was like, damn. Yeah, it's hella good. They I said, like that. I think I got a thing in the mail. It was like half off a pizza or something. So I used it. I went online and did it. And I showed up and I said, I'm here for my pizza. It was, I think it was just a pepperoni. So I sit down and I'm waiting. And I'm a patient guy. And usually if, if you wait for a while for food, that usually means it's good food. Yeah. So I'm sitting there waiting. Somebody comes in, orders a pizza, and they get their pizza before I get mine. And I'm like, the heck? What? So I see that, and I go up there. And the girl comes around and goes, I'm so sorry. I baked you the wrong pizza. We'll give it to you and your pizza, too, if you would like. This is this Marco's pizza? Yeah. Nice. I was like, so I had to wait like an extra 10 minutes, and I'm getting a free pizza? I was like, okay. And then and then I had the pizza, and it was really good pizza. I was like, oh, this is like sweet. Like most places will just throw out the old food and not even care about the time you just wasted waiting. Yeah. But they were like, hey, you can have this one and your original. And yeah. it was good pizza. Did you ever go to Metro Pizza? I think I did. Yes, I have. Metro Pizza is pretty good. Really? Oh, it's the one yeah. downtown, right? Uh, I know there's one on like Stephanie and Horizon Ridge. Oh, okay. I, I think it's Naked it's Pizza area. is the one that's downtown then. Oh. That's pretty good too. It's like a big slice of pizza. But I like Marco's Pizza. I don't know. It's like a, it's dope. It's yeah. Good. It's something you just wouldn't expect. You know, I ain't going to lie. I also like the Little Caesars <laughs> deep dish. The $5? Yeah, I mean. It's the $8 good. pepperoni. Yeah, the $8 pepperoni. Because it's like a oh, thick yeah. and it's just and crunchy. So cheese I mean, it. for a cheap little fucking yeah, for cheese restaurant. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, man, yeah, 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 that's yeah. so good. I was like, oh, my God. For sure, for sure. I People are that. probably tuning in all the best food in Vegas. And we're like, Marco's Pizza. <laughs> <Yeah>. Little Caesars. <laughs> I don't really. I think naked pizza is really good. But I was just like, I never, I'm not a huge pizza guy. Unless it's like. Uh, so what are you a huge guy of? Sushi. Sushi. For sure. Oh, that's the one thing about Vegas. Is I don't know how I never really became a big fan of sushi till I moved to Vegas, but mm. there are so many like twenty four hour sushi or twenty f- all you can eat sushi places like at two a.m. Yeah, yeah, and it's only oh like, now it's two a.m. I mean before I mean like before the pandemic uh. which was like two a.m. Like Juan took me to Sumo Sushi Number Two one time. Yeah, that was over by where he used to live on Buffalo, and it was like twenty seven dollars. And you just sat there, and the waiter's like, what do you want? And you just told him what you want. It was like heaven for a fat guy. Yeah. You just sit there, and they just keep bringing it to you. <laughs> there was one I went to where you had to fill out. They gave you a checklist. And you oh, just yeah, checked yeah. off what you wanted. I was like, why aren't places like this? <laughs> yeah, I've been to those where it's like, oh, let me look, check, check, check. You put it up there. The little sushi chef comes up, and he like takes it. Or your little server takes it up there and they just bring it right back to you. And, but if you just order normal sushi, it's like $22. Yeah. Like two rolls of sushi, but then you can get all you can the eat. The a la carte, for, yeah. For $27. Yeah, I know, huh? <laughs> Makes no sense. So True. Juan is Mexican. So what's your favorite Mexican place other than Roberto's on Wednesdays? <laughs> Dude, I still need to find a fucking great Mexican place out here. Uh, there's oh. this place called um, Mas Por Favor. It's like in the back they have this little like t- cantina in the back. We should take on um, Taco Tuesdays. It's pretty bomb. I don't know about where now. is it. It's a it's a hidden place on Spring Mountain. So it's like in the Asian area. Oh, but it's a Mexican. Really, really good. They, it's it looks like a Roberto's in the front in the little dining area, but you, there's a secret little tunnel that goes to the back. It's like this pop in ass bar where like all these Latinos are at, like good looking girls. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like they have like. Dollar tequila shots. It's pretty cool. What? Yeah. Jeez. Me and Angel, the, the, the picture you saw with me, Angel, and Fran, that's where we were at. Moss Purple 4. Where yeah, I'm like. Yeah, we need, we, need, we need to make a little quick stop yeah, there. Yeah, they have like yeah. movie, like old like Mexican movies playing in the back, like Robert Rodriguez movies playing in the background. It's like. Cool. Desperado? Yeah, they have like images like Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Just just visuals. Uh, but not, no movies. So it's like, yeah, it's huh. a whole Mexican vibe in there. Damn. Their tacos are really good and their, their stuff is really good, dude. Have you ever heard of Viva El Taco Express? No. I think there's three of them, but there's one on Maryland Parkway and Silverado Ranch. On Mondays and Wednesdays, they have their chicken taco, crispy chicken tacos for 99 cents. They're normally like three twenty nine. I wouldn't pay three twenty nine for one of those, but for ninety nine cents, you don't like tacos El Gordo or like taco y taco. Dude, tacos oh. El Gordo is pretty good. Oh, it is taco y taco. I think it's overpriced because of, yeah, you're right. of their yeah. location because of the promotion they're doing. Everybody just keeps claiming it's like the the bomb is fucking tacos and yeah. taco, taco, yeah. 
And I was like, I look at the price, like, man, you guys are fucking overcharging for. Yeah. And I look yeah. at people's plates, it's like, dude, that's not even worth it. Yeah. No. Like $3 I mean, a taco. Yeah. You can go $4. to like any like street taco area. Yeah. Oh my God, for a dollar fucking little. What's a taquilla? But like yeah. that downtown, that taco truck is really good too. Every time after we hit up downtown, like that's where all the logos go right after. Like after party spot, basically, you just chill. Yeah, it's just a nice, simple tortilla with your meat, some cilantro. You can put a little onions if, if you want, some salsa. Bam. Give me four of those. Four bucks. Yeah. Four, two bucks for a tip, whatever. There's another Bam. food truck called Raging Tacos LV. It's, like, really good. We had that at the Ninja Karaoke when we were doing, like, the open mic stuff. And they were just nice. Like, that is one thing did. I like about Vegas are all the food trucks they have here. Even though I think food trucks price charge a little more than they're yeah, yeah, they yeah. I mean, it's like an independent food. artist, though. Yeah, but they're not paying rent. Oh, that's <laughs> they don't. They, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I just not. I shouldn't. Say I see what you're. Though. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, because like, like, no, like, you pay for like, gas, pay for gas. Yeah, because like when you go like to like foodie fests. Yeah, it's like man, you're like paying double, triple the price. Yeah. Yeah. But that when we went to the Lee's Liquor to beer and tequila festival i think at sunset station one time yeah yeah there was that burger food truck in there and they had the like jalapeno cheeseburger oh that's like the only thing i remember from that whole day because <laughs> yeah. i was so yeah. drunk but that i just remember being mad i was like i have to wait in line for this food truck it's gonna cost too much and it did cost too much but the food it was, was great. so good yeah. it, maybe it was because i was hammered True, but true. It was so good. I'm kind of hungry right now, man. Damn. <laughs> Talk yeah. about all this Damn, we got two hours left before this mask ki- uh, rule kicks in. Oh, yeah. The what rule? The, the governor just yesterday. Uh, well, you're listening to this weeks in advance now, but yeah, just yesterday. Yeah, said, I, have, I gotta keep the mask on me now. Yeah. That's crazy. But, anyways, so that's why I was like, can I go eat anywhere anymore? Or is it all t- gonna be takeout now? Because when you sit down, to eat, you got to take off your mask. Of course, I don't know. But there was a diner here called the Blue Thunderhawk. Never heard of it. It was kind of, it was just like an, or Thunderbird. The Blue Thunderbird, I think. T-Birds? T-Birds. Okay. They're, they're, they've been bought out and replaced by putters and or PTs. PTs or, ugh. But it was, they had cheap food and it was just a good place. To yeah, go. that was really good. Yeah. I mean, the... When we say about cheap food, it means that the price was cheap. Yeah, you got you got, you got good portions. Yeah. Well, bar food is always like good. You know? Not PTs. Yeah, Not PTs. PTs yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, so we went grape. to Barley's the other night. We yeah. were there for like seven hours. So when the bartender switched over from eleven to four, I know you don't remember like the last hour and a half because you were like passed out in the chair do <laughs> you remember the security guard coming always and waking you up <laughs> oh, you had like four times and i was like okay we'll go but we were there from 11 to 4 it was you me and tony like yeah. the whole time guess how much our tab we were drinking we were doing shots we were eating from 11 to 4 five and hours five hours yeah. how much is our tab 61 dollars wow and we weren't gambling so our our drinks weren't yeah, free. Yeah, so yeah, we didn't have nothing free. We, nothing was complimentary. It's actually not bad. That's really good, if you ask me. We we went to PTs once for a half hour and spent twenty eight bucks. Oh damn! I was like, what? Anyways, okay, so good places. I don't know why we complain a lot when it's we okay. talk about. Good I mean, things. there's always stuff to complain about. That's oh cool. yeah, yeah. But buffets, the M buffet. Uh, yeah, I think the M buffet is like fucking god tier. Twenty five dollars. You, it's a big buffet. And the food's decent. Yeah. But that lobster. also includes your beer and your wine. Exactly. And those bartenders there are not slow. Yeah. I've, I've seen them pour drinks faster than anywhere I've ever seen before. And now I want to go there because they have gelato. You should go before you leave. That's not open. Oh, is it not? It's still not? The buffet's not. There's only yeah. like two buffets open right now. Oh, shit. The wind buffet's open. Yeah. The wind buffet and... Or maybe they're not going to be anymore. Not now, anymore. Not now, with this yeah. new rule in effect. I mean, you if you have to wear a mask, you can't like sit down and eat because you have to take the mask off. Crazy. But ooh, what about like best Chinese places to eat? Oh, there's China a Go-Go? lot of them here. <laughs> which which one's that? China Gogo. Oh no. Um, How? I don't know of a Chinese place because I always get like the like the Vietnamese and Chinese places mixed. Huh? Yeah. So. There's a few Chinese places here that I like. It's I've not had the best Chinese food here in Vegas. 
it's hard to find some good chicken and hot garlic sauce, but chopsticks is um does. I want to say. Bryles no, keep going, keep going, keep Bryles going. eyes are squinting hard right now. Yeah, it's very hard. <laughs> There's a place I forget what it's called, but it's on. It's right by Viva El Taco Express on Maryland Parkway in Silverado Ranch. There's a Chinese place in the same lot. That's a pretty good Chinese place. Uh, oh, all the Chinese places ever since COVID started, all of them are takeout. None of them you can sit in. Yeah. That just kind of sucks. I don't like bringing Chinese food to the house. Why is that? Because it stinks. <laughs> if you, when you put it in the trash, it stinks it up. Oh, my God, Brile. Which one? Do you remember Balboa's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just oh. talking about that with my friends the other day. Oh, really? Yeah. That's like, I'm sitting here. When we were talking about pizza, I was like, where's that? Oh, there that you go. Place? There you go. Balboa's. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good. On I Tuesdays. Know. I don't know if they still do, but they do. Tuesdays. They do. Do they? I do. And they, have, they still have bomb, like, margaritas there. Oh, nice. Which is yeah. really good. But on Tuesdays, they have their wood-fired pizzas, and... On two Tuesdays, for, they're yeah. two, for one. two for one. And you just have to order a drink. In Bryles, are you, can just I tell the story about the waitress oh, there? Oh, we do. Yeah. Oh, man, I forgot about that story. Long Ooh, time. Bryle fell in love with the waitress. And Bryle told her. 100% you, tip. He it? gave her a 100% tip and said, you need to follow your writing dream. It was a journalism, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. She's like, I want to write. And Bryle's like, you got to write. You got to chase that dream. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, Balboa's is so good though. Oh, yeah, that was good pizza, dude, for sure, dude. Dang but it. it was a lot though, cause I mean, for the for for like that that happy hour price. Yeah, it was a lot of food. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was like, oh Tuesdays. well, let's get two pizzas or two something or three fucking pizzas for the price of one. Yeah. Definitely better than like a CPK. But I was like, man, I tried CPK pizza and I I'm better than Balboa's. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like. There's nothing, nothing can touch well, about Wolf's Pizza after that. If you can buy their pizzas in the supermarket, they're yeah. probably not that good. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, the CPK. <laughs> I was like, what's CPK? Oh, yeah, California Pizza Kitchen. There is um another place in the... What about Lucille's? Have you ever guys went to Lucille's? I've never, I've never heard Lucille's. about this. Is it good? For some reason, I enjoy it because they're like big well, portions barbecue. of barbecue ribs oh my god chicken yeah i'm hungry now try tips you ever know that one barbecue place we went to remember a few months ago it's right up here famous dave's no 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 oh big, uh, big bees big babies or something texas something it's yeah, like texas right, barbecue yeah texas barbecue the one that's uh, like right behind like what is it like behind uh canes yes oh, yeah oh that was really god. good yeah I mean, dude that was a so lot of good. food and we were the only ones in there for like 20 minutes. I don't know what it was. It was just, we walked in and they must have just we, opened. Well, I guess we must have gotten there before like the rush hour. Yeah, the dinner. It the was din- it was early afternoon. We yeah. Went. And the moment we got there, boom, it's like 20 minutes. Like just people just yeah. started crowding in. Oh, I was like, oh, oh my God. Dude, no, like, I want to go there now. You ever had, do you like Korean barbecue? Do you guys like Korean barbecue? Yes. What's your favorite Korean barbecue spot? Uh, there was a place right across from Barley's. Uh, well, it wasn't Korean barbecue. That was just Korean food. But I don't know. I don't really I have think that, that. I know what you're talking about. Um, the Hawaiian food? No, no, no. It's literally like this old Korean man and his old Korean wife. Oh, really? And they're wearing slippers. I don't know how they're open because they were breaking every health code. Really? <laughs> but it, it was. It literally looked like it was just two old Koreans and they just went in there like, we want to cook food. And that's what they did. Like He was like a really nice guy. He would come out. Every table that came out, he'd say, I forget his name, but he'd be like, my name is this. Uh, my wife and I run this establishment. My life, my wife loves to cook. Cooking is her favorite thing to do. Yeah. And she will cook for you. Just let her know what you want to cook. I was like, oh, wow. it was really nice. The only one that I've been to was the one that was on uh, Fort Apache. I want to say Fort Apache and Fort Dang. Apache not 215. That was like kind of like, like passing fucking where I live. Like yeah. on our next Fort Apache Road, because it was like next to like a Thai restaurant, then a barbecue, uh, the Korean barbecue, and they give you like all these little plates full of different dishes and then different styles of meats to cook. Yeah, it was pretty good. You guys gotta try like Master Kim's or Do, another one D O H. Is that the one? Huaro is on Spring Mountain. Is good. Is that the one next to like a PT's? Which one? Korean barbecue place. It's like on. 
Warren uh, Spring Mountain and I want to yeah, say Col- yeah, yeah. Okay. Not, not Colville or yeah, it's right there. It's uh Durango. There's a Master Kim's right on the 215 and a Durango. It's cool because like they don't they bring you the meats through like a like a what's that thing like a little like conveyor belt. Yeah, conveyor belt thing. It's like ee, ee, and it stops snaring and then you gotta take out all your meat like mm. the Jetsons almost. <laughs> Damn. What That's, about t- Italian food? Italian food. I heard that there's a really good place like in my like, Cosmo or something like. I forgot what it's called. Uh, Milos? No. No. Scarpetta. No. no, no. See, oh. I, right now I have not been to a good Italian place. Because especially like when I order like the spaghetti and stuff like that, it's like it smells good. But the moment I taste and I eat it, it's like. Carbone. I heard it was really Carbone. good. At Sunset Station, their Italian place they have there, it looks really fancy when you go by it. It's really nice. The waiters are all look so at the Aria Resort. Carbone was a really good. He said if you take a girl there, it's like automatic panty dropper. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. You're gonna pop out a baby. I, Get ready I had to pop people out had, a baby. So I had like um customers come in and talking about like, yo, it's so good. And then like I had a coworker that was like, Yeah, I took a girl there, man. Like she loved it so much that we it was definitely smash. I was like, Wow, dude, really? Uh, but there's a place at Sunset Station. It's an Italian place, and like I said, it looks really fancy, but you get in there, the prices aren't bad at all, and it's actually pretty good Italian food. Where's this at? Sunset Station. Uh, they have a Korean barbecue restaurant there, too, called Jen. It was really good. Oh. Yeah, there's two locations. One That's the good one, thing about one Sunset one. Station. I've never won gambling there at all. Every time I go there, I feel like I should have just went to the cashier and given him my money. <laughs> it's like, here you go. So I, don't, gonna yeah, bet I don't even gonna get to like, play. It's just... Lose, 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 lose. <laughs> Damn. Well, Wildfire Pizza. Remember that place? Wildfire, wildfire Pizza? Or is it Wildfire? Just Wildfire Bar oh, and Grill. And that's where I was, we were going to go there, but now, especially with the no ma- with the only a mask thing, we were going to go there. That's, the burgers, the burgers there, they used to have a grilled cheeseburger that was like perfect, but that was only there for like a I year. You took me there. I was like, yo, this is. This is good. And the prices aren't bad yeah, there. They're not. It's like eight dollars. You took me out to eat there one time. I was like, man, this is good. Yeah. I know uh, the place that you took me was like Wildfire and then um Balboa's. I've never been to those places until you took me there after AI. Did you you're the one who introduced me to that, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I took a lot of people. Yeah, there. I'm just making sure because like I remember eating there with Tony one time for some reason. And I was like, I don't know if he's the one who told me that. Yeah. I'm sure I took Tony there. That was after class sometimes on Tuesdays. Yeah, we would always, even like that or Wendy's. What about Mediterranean food? Ooh, I've only had a couple places here and they didn't stand out to me. Uh, Damn. I had that, you talking about like the Greek stuff, like Greek food? Yeah. I was going to say uh, Tommy's place. Was it Kebab oh. Express? Kebab Express. This podcast is brought to you by Kebab Express. On I mean, that's the only of... good Mediterranean food I really had though, was that place. <laughs> It's on a corner of Eastern and Tropicana. Eastern and Tropicana. There you go, yeah. Tell and them. the thing is, so far I've been to so many, and by far, price wise, Kebabs Express is better for the amount of food they give you. Yeah, for sure. Because I've been to like I've been to like some new ones that open. Okay, so but where we live, we have this street called uh, Blue Diamond Road, and it's just building up, building up, and you have like. One, there's like two Mediterranean food places there. I think it was like Crazy Greek or some shit like that. And another one. And when you go there, and I know they cook it by the bundle because when I ordered, it was like two minutes later, it was like my food came. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dang. But it was for like the same. Let's just say, I, I, dude, if you go to Kebab Express, get the King Sultans. Yeah. Because that size like three different styles of meats. Yeah, different styles of meats. Yeah. Too. And so... When price. I went to like these two other ones, it's like I could only get one meat for the same price of the Sultan from Kebab Express. Really? Dang. I was like, son of a bitch. Nice. And so at least Kebab Express, it's like, okay, well, you know what? You wait about 10 minutes because we have to cook the food. Yeah. And uh, there was another one also on, uh, it just opened up on Rainbow that I went to, mm-hmm. but it was more of a, like a Pen Express style. I was like, wait, what? Oh, wow. And it's like, Oh, here's your bowl. Just go down the line. What do you want on it? And they just like toss it in there. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Talk about, sorry, like now you got me the whole thing. It's like, you ever had pyology? No. Uh, 
I it's like not. a pizza place that you can build your own pizza. It's like a yeah. Subway. Uh, Blaze like, Pizza. Huh? Have you heard of Blaze Pizza? You used to work at one. 5,000 degrees or something? No, eight, 800 degrees. 800 degrees. Oh, 5,000 degrees. <laughs> no, Blaze Pizza. I think Arnold Schwarzenegger's like son or brother owns it. Oh, really? But it's it's just like, I guess, biology where you tell them what kind of pizza crust you want. Yeah. And then you literally just throw whatever you want on there and it's all the same price. But the thing that makes them stand out is their blood orange lemonade. Oh, you're talking oh, about my Schwarzenegger's And Blaze Pizza. Oh, wow. Oh. It's just like their one drink. Oh. Now I want to go, now I want to go there. <laughs> Dang it. We shouldn't have done this. <laughs> right before the mask rule comes in. Now we can't go anywhere. Damn. Well, we can't go and enjoy the food there. But, yeah, that's, there's a lot to eat here in Vegas. There's one place that everybody from everybody comes to that I don't think is that great, which is in and out That's a Cali thing, though, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. They're like it's good. Right now, it's good to me though. So good, we're talking fast food now. Um, I mean, I really like the burgers, except the fries. I don't like the fries. No, I do. Like, I, it grew on me though. I mean, nothing you know beats. Fries I hate? Nothing beats a McDonald's fries though. Like for sure. Yeah, yeah, for yeah McDonald's, McDonald's Burger King. They got the fries perfected. I love Five Guys. Yeah, hell yeah! I was about oh, to say. I love Five Guys. Yeah, five Guys. Oh, and their their potato fries. Are... You ever had a Habit Burger? No, oh, habit's pretty good. Is it? I keep seeing their sign as like voted best burger in the world or something. Yeah, their habit like, burgers are pretty good, dude. The um, and then there's the smash burger. Smash burgers, good smash too. burgers are good. Oh, dang it! Now I want burger. Bocce burger was good. I don't know why they closed it. Damn. So it's like uh, another restaurant that we used to go so many times to was Fireflies. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> I heard that place is good too. Gee, Until they, just, they got their. Bacteria problem. Yeah, until e. coli that, that, I was like, yeah. "Fuck, dude." You know what? I ain't gonna lie. I don't. I, I've never ate there, <laughs> but it's like after like the nightclub closed, we'd all go there, dude. I just buy rounds of fucking sangrias because they make oh, the yeah. best bomb of sangrias ever, dude. Are they still open? Or are they gone? They had. They. I don't know about the there's, pandemic, but they opened back up. They okay. opened up in new areas. Like for now, there's like one right on a. What do you call it? Uh, Paradise it, had one. Yeah, that's what, of, that was the, that was their their original their OG one that shut down. And there was one on like um Flo, like um Y4 Apache. Yep, and so now we have one. There's a new one now on uh Buffalo and Warren Springs. Oh wow! Yeah, right next to that PTs. Holy shit! Oh, yeah, really? I yep. haven't seen that one yet. I've it, been it, there. I guess it like kind of took over. There was like some some like sandwich Cinderella restaurant or <laughs> oh shit or uh, it shut down. I mean these were fucking overpriced. Sandwiches. I was like, "Oh come on!" Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Fuck!" Next thing you know, it's like I'm getting gas. I'm like, "Holy fuck!" They got a fireflies here now. But dude, those sangrias and uh, basically what they <laughs> cater mostly is like under tapas. You know, like kind of. Oh, yeah. I, I would say what? What are they like? Kind of like finger foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple yeah. little finger foods. Tapas, yeah. right? Is that yeah. Right? I'm gonna tell you the first time I went to a tapas restaurant. Tell us. So is in Ohio. When I was hanging out with Foj the Fantastic, and his room or his neighbor in the apartment complex, it was her birthday, and she has all these rich friends. But she was friends with Foj, and Foj, she has like, "You want to come out for my birthday?" And he's like, "Sure." And I don't know how I got wrapped into it because I didn't know the girl. But he's like, "Do you want to go?" I'm like, "Sure." So we go to downtown Columbus, Ohio. We go to this fancy place. It's the first time I looked at the menu and I saw oysters and it said like 15. I was like, oh, 15 oysters. I can eat 15 oysters. Yeah. Turns out that was the price. And I only got two like little oysters. I was like, what? I don't want to pay for this. Oh, and, um, and then, but I ordered something else too. And it was just like three little things for like 22. And I thought I was getting 22 of them Damn. and I was getting ready to pig out. The only good thing there was was like this big piece of meat, but it was super thin. It was super thin. But I'm sitting there like, oh my God, this is going to be like. What was it called? Was it like. Oh, I don't remember. Like Guayu I have steak no or something like that? I have no Guayu idea. Guayu steak is. I haven't had that, but I heard it was good. Because it's like, it's like so thin and expensive as fuck. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm sitting there freaking Best out. Best seafood like, I ever had though, like. Talking about oysters is um water grill. I just had for my birthday. I Where? was like water grill at Caesars. Oh, 
It's really, really good. Really fucking good. Wow, so the shops and restaurants are open there at Caesars? It was. I don't know about now. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just went there and then for my birthday and, and dude, they had like different wishes from different parts of the world in there. And then it's all fresh and they have their own distribution company. So like it's all from them. It's all them. And then like I had the sea bass there. That thing just melts in your mouth, oh. dude. That was buttered sea bass. And yeah, I, I ordered the halibut. But then Brandon ordered the sea bass, and I, we just switched plates. I was like, dude, that sea bass is so fucking good. <laughs> you switched plates. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, I was like. Hey, Brandon, that looks good. Yeah, oh, basically, he was like, you want this? And I was like, yeah, I want that, dude. I was like. <laughs> Browse It's my birthday. <laughs> yeah. And basically, yeah. he just gave me his meal. I was like, yo, man, I feel so guilty, but that thing is so good, dude. Oh, nice. It was good. It was really good. It was like 60 bucks. Oof. But like, it was a slab of it, and I was like, so good, dude. Dang, where are some other places? Oysters are amazing. Like they had the little ones too, like from like Seattle, and then there's one from the Bay Area. They had these good oysters, like really good, expensive oysters. Yeah, there's a lot to eat here in Vegas. What's the best filet mignon you had? Favorite? There's places in Vegas called Cleaver and Herbs and Rye is really good. Herbs and Rye is good. Like well, their happy hour is like fucking. I heard it. Like, I, I I haven't been there for happy hour, but they're no, they're happy hours. You should the, be there. It's half price. There's um. The Golden Steer, that's on that's near downtown. That place is good, and does a Brazilian steakhouse count? Yeah. Oh, Fogo de Chao. Fogo de Chao, yeah. Oh man, I've been I've been wanting because that's just the expensive one. Isn't there I've, another one? A Brazilian on town square? Bra- there's the Brazil. Well, the Texas de Brazil. Yeah, that's yeah, the Texas one. de Brazil. Yeah. And then yeah. over on Sunset and Green Valley, there's another little. Uh, Brazilian steakhouse, but that one's like Dude, half the there, price. There's also yeah. another one on Durango, and and what's that road that 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 uh? By... I think like Sahara or Charleston, right? Is that the one? Yes, I know what you're talking about. That's a, it's that's... like a Brazilian steakhouse too. That's they... the, I think that's Texas de Brazil too. Oh my god, no. they make some capirinhas there. All right, this fucking drink that's great, dude. When I asked, like, <laughs> oh, the again. dude, I went to the bartender. I was like, because well, I saw bar- I think bartenders are more like that. Like I know my friend has a bartender too. He went to eat at uh, Cleaver. He's like, so. Particularly about his cocktails and his drinks. It's like, oh, well. Because I went in there because, I mean, because Brazil, they're, they're, they're good for, they're, they're known for their, like, capirinha drinks. Yeah, yeah. So what it is, is like, kind of like a, they use, like, this kind of liquor called casasca. So the closest thing that would come to here would be, like, rum. Uh-huh. So basically what you do is, like, you grab some limes, throw in your cup, you muddle them. Uh-huh. All right. You throw some brown sugar, raw brown sugar. Caparinas, is that what you call it? Caparinas, yeah. Caparinas. Then you pack it with crushed ice, fill it up with fucking rum or cachaca, mix it up real quick, bam, slap a straw. So what you do is like when you drink it, it's like you'll get the alcohol with the sugar mixed with the lime juice. Oh, is that like an horchata almost? Like a, like a sugary drink? It's kind of like a little sugary drink, but it's like because now you can't taste the liquor because of the sugar yeah. and the lime. Oh, so so you'll get drunk like that because yeah. you don't taste the fucking alcohol. So I asked because I went to the like bar. You. I was like, hey, uh, so you guys do company? It's like, hell yeah. I'm like, fuck, make me one. <laughs> a Texas de Brazil? Yeah. Oh, dude, I got I to gotta try that now. There's it's, another steak place, a steakhouse that's good. It's like Echo and Rig. I was really good. Back in Tivoli Village, up north. I've never been Dude, there. the only time I went to Tivoli Village, it, it's just like once in, once in a while because... It's like so many places would open up and shut down right away. Yeah, yeah. Open up, close down right away. I was like, fuck, it's like no point in coming here. Yeah, I feel you, I feel you. Yeah, definitely steakhouses, herbs and rice are really good. And like a bomb tomahawk. Oh, man, like tomahawk fucking steak. So good, dude. What are you guys' opinions on the chicken strip? Raising Cane's. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's a good well, place. that's not really Vegas. That's nationwide. But that place was really good when I first went to it. But over the years, it's gotten more expensive, and the quality's gone down. Really? And Chicken Shack, which opened up near us here not too long ago, like four, three years ago, that was perfect when it opened. You got a good amount of food. It was really good for a good price. But now the prices have gone up like 40%, Damn, 30%. Right. The last time I've been to Cane's was when I went to eat with the uh, with the crew from the, the studio. <laughs> <laughs> really it's been that long dude it's Holy been shit. that long dang have you ever you haven't like gone with josh like on a one like a on just a chill day i feel like he always like pushes that like let's get king <laughs> let's get king no that was it dude i was like oh yeah it's like that's a bad thing but Kane's t- is like was always good to me but yeah after that dude i haven't been to Kane's. no 
I think yeah, I don't know. I've I've not gone out of my way to go there in a long time. I haven't had a good. I don't know if there's a good chicken spot. It's definitely chain like chain, fast food chains. Yeah, I, I can't really think of any either. Well, I'm done talking about food. So, <laughs> me too. So, if, <laughs> if we missed out on some good places here in Vegas to eat, make sure to let us know in the comments or comment on our Twitter or our Facebook at OIO Pod or email us at oh it's on pod at gmail.com. Or if you're watching on YouTube or listening on YouTube, just go ahead and leave some comments in the comments below. Our special guest today was Brile Gav. And where can they find you, Brile? You can find me on Instagram, Brile Gav. Or you can find me at Twitter, Gaviola Media. Or just type in my first and last name, BrileGaviola.com. You'll see me there. Or just look at the local 24-hour sushi place. Yeah. You <laughs> All you me. can eat sushi. Any last words from Juan? Stay hungry. Hey. We obviously aren't doing that. <laughs> Time to eat. And remember the microphone might be on.